About two years ago, the Yazidi genocide became quite a big research priority and a research theme for the Counter Extremism Project. We want to make sure that once we've done the research on it, there's actually an output, something that we can engage the public on as well. The purpose and objective of Nobody's Listening is to use virtual reality and art to refocus international attention back on the situation facing the Yazidi community. The virtual reality allows the viewer to walk inside the scenes where the crimes of the genocide took place while listening to testimony by survivors that we've collected that have been in the public domain. It really gave you a sense of what it must be like being in that space and living in that community and the fear that they must have gone through. We've been working with Nobody's Listening to make sure that the policymakers and politicians and uh, even world leaders and human rights specialists see this, but we also want you know, people in secondary schools and colleges and universities to be aware of this. The moment that perhaps is the most human moment for me was the, the separation of the mother and the daughter. That's going to stay with me forever. It's one thing to read a news story, it's another thing to see this. This isn't over. The Yazidi genocide isn't finished. We know that British people participated in these crimes. We know that the Yazidis were targeted on strictly ideological grounds for victimization, for enslavement. Then we hope that this project can help to combat that kind of thinking in the future.